Salvate Omnes, this is Corvus from Templum. I'd like to welcome members of Templum, our supporters and all of you who are hearing about the Templum for the first time. Let me start with a few words about what we do. Behind me, you can see the Temple of Jupiter Perunus, a Roman temple that we built. Surrounding it are 52 altars uh, dedicated to various deities of the Roman tradition. The main mission of Templum is to establish sacred spaces, or a templa, across the world for those who wish to practice the ancient Mediterranean polytheistic traditions. By the way, templa is a plural for templum in Latin. We create and maintain safe spaces for people interested in following these ancient traditions. In addition, we conduct research to restore the ancient ways of connecting and interacting with the eternal gods and goddesses the ones who created the world and humanity and who still influence our lives, whether or not we acknowledge their existence. Templum has been around for 14 years now. We've established Templa here in Ukraine and a small one in Toronto, Canada. In 2025, we plan to expand further with a new Templa in Lithuania and the USA. For the past 14 years, Templum has been a collaborative effort carried out by a small group of cool tourist practitioners here in Ukraine, but funded and supported by hundreds of people from over 30 countries worldwide. What you can see behind me and much more that I will show you in future videos is the result of this great teamwork. We perform more than 200 rituals every month, honoring the deities whose altar are already built uh, as well as those whose altars are still under construction. Throughout these 14 years, I have never asked our community for financial support for anything beyond expanding Templum and building or upgrading altars. However, for the first time, and I hope for the last, I need to ask for your help with something more personal. As many of you know, Ukraine has been under invasion by Russia for two and a half years now. During this time, Russian forces have relentlessly targeted our country's power grid, destroying or severely damaging most of our power plants except for a few nuclear ones. They've also attacked large transformer stations, including one located just two miles behind our temple. Every week we hear hostile drones flying overhead and sometimes we even have to perform rituals with the sound of machine guns firing those drones. While Ukrainian government is optimistic about handling the situation, stating that power outages will occur only if temperature drop below minus 10 Celsius, I am less optimistic. I fear Russia may cause significant damage to our power system and we may be left with only a few hours of electricity per week at the best. This directly impacts our ability to heat our homes, stay connected and keep Templin operational. To prepare for the worst, we need to ensure our home can be heated at least a few hours each day. To do this, we aim to purchase firewood for our wood stove, battery storage to power our heater, and a Starlink terminal to maintain internet connection, as the internet might be one of the first services to go down. We need about 1700 US dollars to cover these essential items. Given the current economic situation in Ukraine, it will be extremely difficult for us to raise this amount on our own. So if you appreciate the work we do at Templum and believe it's worth supporting, please consider donating to help us get through this winter. You can find donation links in the description below. We strongly believe that this temple belongs to the immortals. Under no circumstances will we abandon this place. We are fully committed to continuing our rituals, serving to the gods and goddesses, and supporting our international polytheistic community. We believe that it is not peace that allows us to practice our religion, but that diligent and pious worship brings peace you can find countless examples of this approach in Roman history. 
one being the story of Gaius Fabius Dorso in Livius 5.52.3. Hos omnes deus publicos privatos que curites deserturi estis, quam par vestrum factum ei est, quod in obsidione nuper in egregio adoluscente. Gaio Fabio non minore hostium admiratione quam vestra conspectum est, cum inter Gallica tella degressus ex arce solemne Fabiae gentis in colle Quirinale obit. Do you intend, Quirites, to abandon all these gods, both of state and of family? How squares you conduct with that of the noble young man Gaius Fabius in the recent siege, which the enemy beheld with no less astonishment and admiration than yourselves? when he descended from the citadel through the missiles of the Gauls and offered the annual sacrifice of the Fabian clan on the Quirinal hill. I hope things don't come to the worst, but we need your help to make sure we can survive this winter and continue the development of Templum and its many Templar worldwide. If you are willing to support us, please don't delay, winter is fast approaching and some of the equipment we need could take up two months to arrive and be installed. If you'd like to help us but can do so financially right now, just follow our journey and send your kind thoughts of support. We really appreciate it. We feel it. If you have prayers or rituals that you'd like us to offer to the immortals here in this sacred ground, in accordance with the ancient practices, send them our way and we will make sure they are carried out. And finally, I'd like to remind you that donations of $50 or more will be honored with your name chiseled on a stone plaques, which will be placed on the temple walls. Uh, for smaller donations, your name will be added to the list of supporters we read aloud during our monthly Edith ritual, asking Jupiter, King of the Gods, to be propitious to you as you are to us. And remember, by choosing our gods, we choose our faith. Gratias agemus et valete, amici.